Hello and welcome back to Disneyland. Today I've got Elsa with me and we're going to continue building Fantasyland. My plan for this video is to finish the area here where Dumbo's ride is going to go and add the Storybook Land Canal area next door. And so we're going to begin with this piece here and ultimately I want to put this down in here but we have a little bit of a problem and you can see that the bounding box for that sticks up above the ground there a little bit. So if I drop that and then I try to place some things in here on top of this, it's not going to let us. And so I need to put this ground in using a replayer or some other little trick. I kind of prefer the replayer myself. So I'm going to take this out for right now and I'm going to put in the terrain using this replayer over here. And so I'm going to go ahead and change the property on this. Once again, set the playback interval. Not that that makes a whole lot of difference, but it does speed things up a little bit. And then I'm going to step on the replayer. And I put this down before the video, by the way, to save a little time. Press B on my Wii U to record, and then step off so I can get back in the editor. And now I will place this down with the replayer. I'm going to orient it like that. And you'll note I've already styled this and set my default theme to be Rapunzel's Kingdom. So I'll go ahead and place that down. And then exit out of the editor. And come over here and step on the replayer, stop recording, and clear. And that takes that block back out. So now we can add in everything else that goes around it. And we're going to begin with this Fantasy Terrain Corner 1. And for right now I'm just going to drop it there until I can style it. And we're going to style this to use the corner with street lamps. And I'll set that to be the theme. And you'll notice this is actually placed exactly where I want it. You'll notice the little corner here is sticking out, but the straight part is right on the edge of the terrain. So we want it placed just like that. And I want to do the exact same placement for the rest of these all the way around this, because I want it to overlap the grass tile, the grass uh, terrain block that the replayer puts down. So those pieces go in there like that. And then we're going to need... And it reset the drawer on me. <laughs> I had this scrolled. But we're going to use this onion dome, and I want to place this right in the dead center of this. Just like that. And for the style on this, you can set this to whatever you want. <laughs> the uh, style that I kind of like for it is this swirly style. So I'll go ahead and apply that. And in the actual ride, you've got arms that come out from there to each of the Dumbo um, cars that fly around this thing. But uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so there's that. And then we'll come into the decorations drawer, and it reset that on me too. <laughs> I had these all queued up and ready to go. But you want to scroll over to the right, and I'm looking for the picket fences. And I have to scroll a little ways. I tried to scroll to all these areas in the drawers before the video started so I could save a little time, but it's not going to work. <laughs> all right, there we go. So we're going to place this right on the corner like that. Another one right over here like this. And then a straight edge back here. And one on this side. That just creates a nice little area of interest. And if we come back to the plants drawer and go to the right a little bit, we have these flower beds. 
So I'm going to put these around the perimeter of this. Just like that, which looks really pretty. And then if we go to the right, we have these topiaries. And there's one here of an elephant, which I thought would be perfect for Dumbo's ride. And we're going to place that right here on the end of that terrain block, just like that. I think that's pretty cute. And then if we go up to Building Sets Group 4 and we go left, we come to this platform. And I'm going to place this right over here on the edge of the uh, grass, just like that. And for the top on this, if we come back down to Building Sets Group 2, I don't really have a good circus looking canopy to put on top of that but I do have this striped awning. And so we're gonna kind of finagle this a little bit here to make it look like that. It's not the greatest, but if you don't look too closely, you won't notice. So we'll do it like that. And then we'll just put, we could put one of these on here like this, or we could stick this out a little bit. It's up to you. I'm actually gonna put mine back here, I think, because I don't wanna see a gap of sunlight through that corner. So that kind of has a little bit of a circusy look to it. Not the greatest, but it will do. If you're on a system with a little bit more memory, like I said, you could pull this out, place it there, and then flip it around to kind of plug the hole. But I'm using every scrap of memory whoops, that I've got on my Wii U. So I don't really have that memory available. Although I'm not seeing a ray of light through there. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I thought I remembered seeing that before. Ah, can't find me. There it is. So let's just go ahead and do it that way. So I like that. All right, and with that, uh, just a couple more little finishing touches here. If we come up to Building Sets Group 7 and we go to the right, we'll find the uh, Sugar Rush pieces. And we have these flags. And I'm going to put in a couple of these because they're colorful like a circus flag would be, which is why I'm using them. We're going to put one on this side and one on this side. And if you use the same one, it'll save a little bit of memory. You could use two, but it takes up a little extra memory. And then to finish it off, we'll step on our replayer and do a playback. And that puts the water back underneath. And there we go. So that looks really good. So that's it for Dumbo's ride, and now we'll move on to the Storybook Land Canal Boats. And for this, we'll come back down to the terrain, and we're going to start with this river bend. I'm going to drop this right in here like this, into that corner. And put one here, one of these over here. And then another turn, and a turn over here, and uh, then another straight piece, and I'm just laying out where the canal is going to go, because this determines where everything else is going to go. We don't want to make this a really big ride. If I had more memory, I'd try to uh, mirror the path of the actual ride a little bit more closely. But there's really no point in doing that, because we don't have a lot of the little set pieces and things we would need anyway to build the little 
areas inside there, so a smaller area I think is a little bit better. And there we go. So there's the outline for where the canal area will be. All right, let me find my shot here for the next part of this. Okay, so let's scroll back over here, and actually we might be quicker to go ahead and pick up this piece and put it down. And we're going to fill in the holes. And back here, let's see, yep, like that. And the next size larger we'll put back here, like this. Okay. All right, so now, let's go ahead and I'm gonna pick this piece up one more time and put it down. And let's go ahead and start with the tunnel, since we're right over here near these tunnel pieces. And if we laid out this, these other blocks here correctly, which it looks like I did not, this should be right over top of the canal like this. So I actually need to move these just a little bit. Which means I gotta move a lot of this too. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and do that offline and I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back and I've moved all of this over just a little bit and you can see the gap is now filled and the tunnel is right where it needs to be right over top of the water. And you can see that moving it over has caused this to slide to the right a little bit, about half a block. And so all of that up there has shifted. Uh, I forgot to move the tables. <laughs> but these are gonna shift over as well. And I can leave those where they are for now. All right, and then I can go ahead and style this and put this back, because I forgot to do that. And this is going to use the Tangled Terrain Strip. Okay, so now that we've done that, now we can continue over here with the tunnel. So we'll pick that piece up and put it down. And then we're going to pick up this cave bend. And we need to put this in here like this. And then I'm going to pick this piece up and put it down. And we're going to use this tiny terrain block to sit right in here like that. And then this small flat block is going to sit up here, and I want it to be one block over from the right. And so if we come up here to the blocks drawer, you can see there's a one block inset there where this would have gone. So that's where I placed that. And then the next one is going to sit right back here like this. All right, and now that we've done that, now we can come over here and we're going to put this in like this and raise it up. And I need two of these like that. And then this block is going to sit in here, just like this. Okay? And we're going to need to put in two of these, because I'm not going to put this in here with that sharp edge there. That's why I've got those three blocks set like that. We'll rotate this so it's not quite as... Uh, not quite as uh, repetitive. And then if we scroll to the right, we've got this uh, terrain prism. And I'm going to place this right here. And I could do the same thing over here. 
um, but I'm not going to because <laughs> this is the way I had it before and so I'm just going to leave it that way. All right, and if we go to the right, we can come over to these ramps. And this ramp is going to sit right in here, just like this, followed by this really wide one, like that, and then this corner. And that takes us to the edge of the block on the right, but you'll notice we have this uh, overhang back here, of about a difference of about a block. So we're going to have to do something about that. I'll come back to that in a minute. For this, we're going to run this down the side. And uh, let me see. Grab my screenshot here to make sure I go the right distance. So we have that. We have... Uh, oh, that one. We have this uh, half-size one. And then we're going to put this corner in right here. And then at this point we can grab some of these other pieces and put them in here. We're going to place one like that. And I'll flip these around so it's not quite so repetitive. And we'll use this taller one along the back. Like that. Okay, so that's the hill behind the canal. And then we'll use this use this tall terrain block to sit in here like this. And again, we'll rotate it so it's not quite so repetitive. I guess it's about the same either way though, huh? Okay. And then we're going to need a few tiny blocks to sit under here like this. Okay, so that's starting to take shape, and that's looking pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and build the, uh, the tunnel here. Because there's a tunnel as you exit. So we'll place that piece there. And I need it to go just a little bit further to get to the other side of this. And I'm not sure there's another side here that has a little bit better looking flowers. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of like that one. So we'll put it down that way. Okay. And I'm just looking for my screen grab here for this back corner. And we're going to use this piece here. Like that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take this out and that out because what I really need to sit back over here is this. I'm a little bit off with this. That's what I really need. These sit along the back like that. Okay. And we're going to put this one back here about like that. And we'll stop at that point in that direction for today. Okay, so that is looking really, really good. I like that a lot. Okay, now on this end, 
I'm going to overlap this a little bit just so I don't have a light gap when I look through there. And so this is going to sit in here like this. And I'm not sure, is that the same? It's a little bit different. But it's essentially the same texture, it's just a little offset. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it oriented the way it is. Like that. And we'll leave it that way. And then for this corner, uh, not that one, this one. I'm going to place down a few of these just to add a little bit of interest back here. I'm going to put down three in that direction and one in this direction. Okay, so that's looking pretty decent. All right, now that we've got the shape of the hill, let's go ahead and add in some details. So at the real storybook land, Canal, we have these uh, hedges that go in here. And as you can see, these are too tall, so that's just not going to work. However, what you can do is come down to the basic blocks, and you can put a block in there, and then you can style this. Like that, and I'll set that to be the theme. And then put a couple of those across there, followed by one of these. And so there's our hedge at the top of the hill. And over here in front of the tunnel, we need Monstro's head. And you find that under the set pieces, with Monstro the whale. We're going to line this right up with that opening. Just like that. Okay, so that looks pretty nice. And inside the Storybook Land Canal, we need some little sets to build in here. And since we don't have a lot of little buildings, what I'm going to do is come down to Building Sets Group 4, and if we scroll to the right, we've got these little tower tops that can kind of serve as little building pieces. <laughs> and so we'll go ahead and use these. And let me grab my uh, screenshot here that shows where I'm positioning these. Of course, now I'm not seeing it. Here it is. All right, so we're going to place one here like this. And then we've also got another little one here that we can use. So that's an option for something a little bit different so that it doesn't all look the same. And place that one back here. And if we come back to the left, I believe there's one more we can use. Here it is. This small fantasy land balcony can serve as a little building as well. So we can place a couple of these back here. Just like that. We don't need a lot of these. Just a little something to kind of provide a little interest. And to mix it up a little bit, if we come up to Building Sets Group 6, we have these Agrabah Citadels. We can put a couple of these in here, the smaller ones. That'll kind of create a little Arabian type area over here. And 
And uh, we can use an archway over here. Like that. With one of these little canopy booths in front of it. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this terrain block here. We'll go ahead and put this down next to that, like that. And then we'll create one more area right here. Under group four, if we come to the right, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> we can create a little tunnel here for the player to go through. Put this over here like so. Maybe put a tower back here. And then we'll need a roof on top of this. Like that. And for a little decoration, we'll stick this light in here. <clears throat> okay. So that's not too bad. I'm going to put one more piece in here. <clears throat> Out of the set pieces drawer. Excuse me. The New Holland Windmill. And we'll put this right here, like this. Now you can see the memory meter on the right is starting to get kind of full. <laughs> so uh, we are definitely pushing the boundaries here. We haven't even finished building and let alone get to the rides. So gotta be cautious. But we still need a lot of detail. Okay, so with this, let's go ahead and put in some of this finishing detail. And I'm going to begin on the front edge here with the plants and Fantasy Terrain Corner 1. And once again, I'm going to put this out here, but we're going to line this up like that. Okay, we're going to place that there like that. And if we come up to Building Sets Group 3, we have these Main Street railings. And we're going to place these along the side here. That's the last one on that side. And then on this side. And I'm not going to go all the way back. I think that's sufficient. I'd like to, but again, I got to save memory. And we still have the other side to do yet as well. But before we can do that, we need to put the lighthouse in. And so under the set pieces, let's see, where is that lighthouse? There it is. And I'm going to place this oriented that way, like that. Oops, went too far. Okay. So now we can place these along here. And let me make sure I've got the right count here. All right, that one should have been the other one. 
So like that. And then we'll leave a bit of a gap. So that would have been for the entrance. This end will be for the exit. So we'll leave another gap here. And for right now, I'm only going to go this far. And I may tweak that later after we get Small World in. Okay, so there is our border around the Storybook Land Canal Boats. Okay. And then we'll put in a couple of these Main Street floral lamps around here. We're going to put these with the baskets oriented this way. And I don't want to get too close here, but I think that's where that has to go. Let me, uh, let me see here. I've got a shot that shows me how I had this oriented. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, so yeah, just like that. And then the next one is going to sit over here. Like this. So that's kind of some good even spacing right there. Okay. And back to the plants drawer. So over here in about this spot, we're going to place one of these trees. And once again, let me grab my picture here. And yeah, that's the orientation with the flowers kind of facing towards Monstro. So just like that. And then this Fantasy Terrain 4, we're going to put this up here on this corner. Kind of cover up that seam a little bit with the purple flowers on the front right. And then we'll place another one over here, about like that. And I'll style these shortly. On the inside, we're going to place down one of these, about like that. And one of these like this. Just kind of create a little barrier there. Put another one of these over here. Not like that. And that looks pretty good. Okay. And then we'll add in a few more trees. So this one's going to sit right up here about like this. The next one is going to sit right up here on the end lined up with those blocks like that. And the Fantasy Terrain 3, we're going to put some of these down in here. And I'm going to orient this one sitting on top of that seam, like that. This one will sit down here on the base, like this. We're going to place one up here on this block, right on this seam, like that. And the next one will sit down here like that. So we're just kind of trying to create a little border around this area. And these blocks, I could put these across the back to kind of block that view off a little bit, but I thought it might be kind of nice to be able to see the background out there a little bit. 
So we're going to put down some of these. This first one's going to sit in here just like this. Flip it 180 degrees. This next one will sit down here like this. Uh, next one will sit over here like that. And this one will sit over here like that. Okay. And then coming around the back side of this, we're going to go halfway up that block. Eh, not yeah, about like that, actually. Two-thirds of the way up that block. And we're going to rotate it like this, with the edge of it touching the block like that. And another one over here like this. This one will sit back over here like so. The exact placement of these doesn't really matter. You can tweak them however you feel you want to. These are all going to be styled in a minute using the uh, Sleeping Beauty style, by the way. So that one will sit in there like that. And then this one, we're going to bring it back down to ground level. We're going to stick it up here, almost to the edge of the block. About like that. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and style them. So once again, we're going to use the Briar Ridge Terrain. And we'll skip these for now. We'll do like ones first to minimize the amount of times we have to scroll through these lists. And then we'll do these, uh, whoops, over here next. Once again, Briar Ridge. And this is going to create a nice little uh, barrier on the back side here, but yet still allow some gaps to show through where you can see the sky in the background. See that overlaps that block, which is fine. It's kind of what we want. And by placing these back here, just like we did with our Main Street USA toy box, kind of makes it look like when you're standing down there in the park that the world goes beyond what you can actually see. So it doesn't look like this wall that these trees are sitting above and behind. It doesn't look like that wall is the end of the world. It kind of looks like the uh, world goes beyond it. And so that's the point of those. Alright, so this one is going to... well, let's go ahead and do this one first, because this is also Sleeping Beauty. And then the last two are going to be Rapunzel's style. Like that. And you can see it's really looking nice now. And this will be Rapunzel's style. As will this one, and this one. And there we are. So that looks pretty good. And 
that leaves this gap back here. Which is fine. Or we could pick this one up and go ahead and put this in like that. And that might be a little bit nicer. Okay, so now when you come through this tunnel, you got some pretty things to look at as you go through the ride. And a neat little tunnel there. And out this way, you can kind of see the world goes a little bit beyond what you can see. But you can't get too good a look at it. And then you come out, and you're over here on the exit. Well, I think this is a good stopping point for today. Next time, I'll build the area containing the Alice in Wonderland ride and the Mad Tea Party. Thank you for watching. Click my photo in the lower right corner to subscribe if you haven't already done that. And be sure to leave a comment before you go to let me know what you think of my toy box so far. Have a great day!